on you guys my name is rage and we are back today with a quick update video actually in regards to an upcoming event here that's called the start grant starting tomorrow uh we don't actually see this live in game yet guys um as this usually gets added uh upon reset but we do have a screenshot here of the milestone that's actually available on the marvel strike force uh, website blog post and as you can see here um it is going to be in fact a blitz event now guys Rest assured, this is a super, super easy and free-to-play friendly event, and um, it could be very well one of the best rewards that we've ever seen in a sort of uh, Blitz event dynamic. So, um, you know, as you can see here, what's highlighted is the fact that there's 100 Val Shards here available, and even 100 Kang Shards as part of this overall event, uh, tied back to the monthly event as well, uh, being available. So... This is a summary here in terms of what you're going to be expected to do, and I'll break it down for you guys here. But like I said, super, super friendly. Um, you know, there's not really a, a lot of uh, a lot of room for making mistakes because honestly, um, it's super generous, and uh, the rewards are very, very well worth it. You do want to spend time blitzing if you can. And now that we've got confirmation that the one-hour blitz um, is running until the end of the year, this is just icing on the cake. So you can see at the very top here, um, obviously this event runs for five days, so it's a pretty constrained amount of time, but you should be able to bang it out pretty quickly here, especially if you can do your blitz battles. Um, the blitz battle cap is 66,000 points. So uh, what this means is that this is the uh, the full points that's awarded for blitzing uh, until it gets capped out at 66. Then you only get 25 per battle as per what I've listed there. So um, even 66,000 is 5.3 rotations of 50 blitz teams. And keep in mind, this is just battling. You don't need to specifically win the blitz. You just need to make sure you're tapping it and going through the motions. Super mindless, but I mean, if the rewards are this good, honestly, um, this is a huge opportunity for those in the mid game that haven't unlocked Val, but also needing a top of Kang shards or waiting to unlock Kang as both these characters are some of the best in the game. Now, having said that too, what they've also added is the common of new characters here. So Green Goblin Classic, Kraven, um, using characters like Doc Ock and MK2 Ironheart, if you are able to win with them specifically in Blitz, you're going to be also getting these bonus points. Uh, on top of that, there's also a web milestone portion um, you know, that relates to this tied back to you earning Blitz credits. Just know that if you're getting wins in Blitz, you're going to be earning credits. That's going to add to the milestone. There's also a couple orbs that you're going to get naturally. Make sure you open them. Uh, they're called the galvanized orbs. And by opening them up, they're also worth the 3K. Um, they're not too notable here, hence why I didn't add it into my chart. But um, just know that the total of that from the web milestone together with the orbs is about 16,000. And then we also have spending of power cores, which is optional. I just uh, plotted in at 100 cores per Per day uh, conservatively most folks usually spend about 150 200 heck you don't even need to you can conserve it as well but even without those points you can see uh, we're close to we're north of 95,000 points what does that look like on the milestone event chart well at milestone 10 even at 37,500 points you're getting the 100 shards of Val just like that um, at 60,000 is where the arc reactor is available obviously um, for the event tied back to the monthly and then at 70,000 is where I, I would recommend most folks aim for just because that is that pretty notable 100 um, drop of, of Kang shards and again this is going to change your account by having his unlock and even just getting him to the six or seven yellow ultimately providing that opportunity to upgrade him uh, to diamond level so again guys super super easy event uh, we haven't seen this kind of caliber of an event in quite some time so it's great that they've actually added this in and like i said we don't need to be worried about winning in blitz it's more so just getting enough teams in there and just rotating and doing the battles and like i said uh, most folks should be able to bang this out in uh, honestly, only if this event's only live for five days, but you can probably get all of this in, in day three, uh, assuming you're doing the full rotations. And, and we have that opportunity here uh, with the one hour blitz resets too. So, I mean, um, this is just a really big appreciation uh, sort of event for folks. And let's take advantage of this, especially two characters being very prominent in the game. Um, immense Dark Dimension 6 value, uh, immense value outside of even that game mode, specifically in raids and all the other game modes. So um, big opportunity, guys. Let's take advantage of this, especially knowing that Green Goblin's event is also coming live. These characters are very well characters that can also help us. Uh, but again, this event comes live tomorrow, which pre you know follows the event released today. So uh, let me know if you guys are going with this game plan, but super, super straightforward, easy, and free-to-play friendly. Absolutely love it. Happy blitzing. I'll keep you guys posted on the Green Goblin Classic Trials. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.